For what purpose does a gentleman from Texas seek recognition? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, as I stand here today, Republicans in the Texas state legislature are rapidly advancing some of the most restrictive voting laws that we have seen in our republic since the Voting Rights Act was passed in the 1960s. It's why it's so important that we pass H.R. 4, the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, because H.R. 4 will help us fight against this dangerous GOP-led anti-voter discrimination that we're seeing. Discrimination against the very voters that have fueled growth in our state that is allowing Texas to pick up two new seats because after reapportionment. And it will help restore full protections of the voting of the landmark Voting Rights Act of 1965 and re-implement the critically needed VRA pre-clearance provision to focus on states with a recent history, a recent history of discrimination like the state that I live in. Uh, a state that has consistently pushed racially charged anti-voter legislation that will allow everything from empowering partisan poll watchers to intimidating Texas voters the to imposing criminal penalties. We have to do something about this. Let's pass H.R. 4. Thank you, Madam Speaker. For what purpose does a gentlewoman from California seek recognition? I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute.